Good morning, all my friends, and welcome to Proverbs 13. And uh, we'll uh, be covering a few different Proverbs today. Uh, and just kind of like the last couple of days, talking about how uh, your uh, mouth can get you in the trouble or what you should be looking for. And, and so here, it's our Proverbs 13, verse 1. It says, A wise son pays attention to what his father teaches him. But any, anyone who makes fun of others doesn't listen to warnings. I mean, I, I think this is, we've talked about this before, that Solomon previously said in an earlier chapter, listening to your parents, you know, listening to your father is a good thing. As obviously, Solomon is writing this as a dad, saying like, hey, listen to uh, your dad. And, and so, I mean, you want to listen to your parents because they've made mistakes, you know, they've done some good things, and they want you to learn from it. Because ultimately, you know, it's like at some point, you know, it's like, how did the first person know that the stove was hot? Well, they probably touched it and found out it was hot. And then they're trying to tell you, don't touch it, it's hot. Or they burn themselves and they're like, oh, don't do that. You know, it's like a lot of times the mistakes we make as, as adults or as kids, you know, we want to prevent you from making. And so it says a wise son pays attention to what his father teaches him because we're trying to teach you a good thing. But then here's how your mouth can get you into trouble too is, but anyone who makes fun of others doesn't listen to warnings, you know? And it's just one of those things that uh, we tend to want to make fun of others. Like it's natural, like we wanna make jokes, we wanna try and be funny. And you know, that, that happens. But as I've said before, it's like, even your jokes should be nice. We shouldn't be making fun of others, what they're wearing, what they look like, how they talk, like that's not kind. And it continues in verse two, the good things people say benefit them, but liars love to hurt others. You know, ultimately you look at what most lies are. Most lies about other people are rumors, you know, they, you know, to say, say something negative about someone else. you like, no one ever lies and be like, oh yeah, he is really, you know, really nice, but they're really mean. Like no one really makes a, makes that sort of statement. It's usually they're saying something that is negative about someone that's just not true. And ultimately, if you're lying about someone else, deep down, it kind of means like you're trying to hurt them, like you like to hurt them, which that's not very nice. And then going into verse three, those who guard what they say guard their lives, but those who speak without thinking will be destroyed. Now, you know, you've probably heard the term, I've said it before, put your foot in your mouth. And if you haven't heard that before, it just means that like you said something that you wish you hadn't said. And uh, a lot of times the reason why you kind of have that feeling is because you talk without thinking. And that's what it's saying here. Those who speak without thinking will be destroyed. Now, being destroyed, that's very, you know, harsh. But ultimately it's like, we need to look at like, all right, we need to think before we speak. We need to make sure that what we're saying is something kind, that we're not making fun of others, that we're saying good things. You know, that's what those first few verses are saying. And then we're going to go on to verse 20 and skip down because it's talking about being wise. And part of being wise, it says in verse 20, walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. And so how does this relate to, you know, talking? Well, if you hang around people who are saying good things, kind things, loving things, followers of, of, of Jesus, guess what? that's gonna make it easier for you to. But if you are continually m being around people who talk trash, say mean things, make fun of others, lie, guess what? You're more likely to do it. So it's saying walk with wise people because it says earlier, wise people don't lie. Wise people speak the truth, wise people. So it, it all kind of goes back to, you know, the things that we've been talking about and what makes up a wise person. And so our words, what we say, how much we think before we talk, all go into that. And that's what Solomon is saying here. So really let's focus on those things that we say today. Let's focus on, on being kind, being loving, and, and really being surrounded by those wise people and putting those wise people in our lives. And right now you're at home with probably some of them. Your family is trying to help uh, each one of you, you know, try and become more godly, more like a follower of Jesus and be loving and kind and honest and, and all those good things. 
Those are wise people that you want to continue to surround yourself with. But guess what? There's going to be people that come into your life that aren't wise. And we need to make sure that we're not trying to then be feeling closer to them just because maybe we think they're cool or, you know, I would be cooler if I hung out with that person who's not so wise and not talking nice and lying and making fun of others. So let's make those choices. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for today and we thank you just for just even this opportunity to open your word on a daily basis. And as we celebrate Easter week with you, help us continue to want to be more like you and just help us take time to reflect all that you have done for us this week, Lord. And uh, in the, just the fact that you died on the cross for us and that we get to celebrate that this Easter. And so uh, we thank you and we love you and we ask you to just help us be loving and kind and and fill our, our, our lives with those wise people. And we love you so much in Jesus' name. And all of God's children said, amen. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.